Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about dividing polynomials using long division with remainder. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 3 of our video class, the part 1 of our video and the part 2. We divide polynomials without the remainder. So feel free to see the link in the description down below with regards to part 1 and part 2 of our video. Let's focus now in our part 3, dividing polynomials with the remainder. Alright, let's start. So number 1, now check first if the degree is already been arranged. So for number 1 class, we have x, x squared, x cubed. So therefore, the exponent or the degree is not arranged. So we need to arrange this one. So x cubed comes first. 12x cubed. Then we have x squared, negative 20x squared. Then positive 11x. Minus 14. Then divide this one. Alright, so it's already been arranged. So let's let's proceed. Let's divide. So copy x minus 2. Then we have 12x cubed minus 20x squared plus 11x minus 14. Alright, so first thing to do class is you divide the leading term by the first term. So 12x cubed divided by x. So understood that there's 1 in x. Any variable, there is a numerical coefficient of 1. If you didn't see any number, understood to be 1. So 12 divided by 1 is 12 x cubed divided by x, just simply subtract the exponent class. So copy x, and then you subtract the exponent. 3 minus 1, that is 2. 12x squared. You can write it 3 minus 1. Go ahead. So that will be 12x squared. So when you divide class, just simply subtract the exponent of the variables. So copy x, copy the base, then subtract the exponent. 3 minus 1 is 2. 12x squared. Now, since our answer is x squared, we need to align this one in this given negative 20x squared. So x squared and x squared should be aligned. So 12x squared, our answer, so this will be 12x squared, align in x squared plus. All right, and then once you divide the leading term by the first term, so 12x cubed divided by x, that's 12x squared, then you multiply plus 12x squared times x, that is 12x cubed. So 12x squared times x, now, once you multiply, in dividing class, you, subtra you subtract the exponent. In multiplying, you will add the exponent. So, 12 times 1 is 12. x squared times x, that would be x raised to the power of 2 plus 1. You, you add the exponent class. 2 plus 1, that would be 12x cubed. That's the rule there. Okay, when you're dividing the literal coefficient, you subtract the exponent. When you're multiplying, you add the exponent. Alright, so 12x, cube, 12x squared times x, that will be 12x cubed. Negat, uh, no, 12x squared times negative 2, that's negative. Positive times negative is negative. 12 times 2, that's 24. Then copy x squared. Alright, and then we subtract. You put parenthesis class because this is binomial. We subtract. Now rules in subtraction of polynomials or integers. When you subtract integers or polynomials, you always change the sign of the subtrahend, then you proceed to addition. Instead of subtraction, you proceed to addition and you change the sign of the subtrahend. This is positive 12x cubed, it will be negative. This is negative 24x squared, it becomes positive. Alright, and then 12x cubed minus 12x squared, we can cancel this out. This is 0 plus. 12 minus 12 is 0. So, copy x squared. Now, in adding and subtracting, Polynomials, you copy the literal coefficient, copy x squared. So negative 20 plus 24, negative 20 plus 24. If the signs are not the same, you subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So subtract 24 minus 20 is 4. 24 is greater than 20, we have positive 4. So 4x squared. So once again, negative 20 plus 4, subtract. 24 minus 20 is 4. Copy the sign. Since 24 is greater than 20, we have positive 4. Simply copy x squared. Then we bring down positive 11x. Alright, and then we divide this term, 4x squared divided by x. So 4x squared divided by 4x squared divided by x. So 4 divided by 1 is 4, positive 4. 
and then x squared divided by x, that is x. Alright, let me write it here for you not to be confused, class. 4x squared divide x. So understood that there's 1 here. 4 divided by 1 is 4. x squared divided by x, subtract the exponent, so that would be x. And then we multiply. 4x times x, that would be 4x squared. 4x times negative 2, that's negative 8x. Alright, I hope you're with me. So 4x times negative 2, that's negative 8x. Then we put parentheses because we're going to subtract. And when we subtract, we change the sign of the subtrahend. Then we proceed to addition. That's the rule there. This becomes plus. This is positive 4x, it becomes negative. This is negative 8x, it becomes positive. Alright, so 4x squared minus 4x squared, you can cancel this out. Positive 8, uh, no, positive 11x plus 8x, that's 19x. And then we bring down negative 14. And then we divide. 19x divided by x. So 19x divided by x. So understood that there's 1 here. 19 divided by 1 is 19. X divided by X simply cancel. So, positive 19. Alright, and then we multiply. 19 times X, that's 19X. 19 times negative 2, that's negative 38. Alright, negative times, uh, no, positive times negative is negative. Then we change the sign. We subtract, then we proceed. Okay, to change the sign with subtrahend, then proceed to addition. This becomes plus, this is minus, this is plus. Then 19x minus 19, that is 0, we can cancel this out. And negative 14 plus 38. They don't have the same sign, so subtract 38 minus 14. So 8 minus 4 is 4, 3 minus 1 is 2. 24. Now, this is positive 24 since 38 is greater than 40. So, if the signs are not the same, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. 24. So, this will be our remainder class. 24. Alright. Now, to write the remainder here in the equation, you put plus, plus, then the remainder is 24. So, 24 will be the numerator. And then, x minus 2 will be the denominator. That's how you put the remainder class. So once again, this is 12x squared plus 4x plus 19. The remainder is 24. So you put 24 on the numerator. So once again, you put plus the remainder. So plus, then 24 will be the numerator and x minus 2 will be the denominator. That's it class. This is your final answer. 12x squared plus 4x plus 19 plus 24 over x minus 2. Alright, easy right? Let's try number 2 class. So check class in number 2, we have x cubed, x squared, then we don't have x. Okay, same with this one class, we have x cubed, x squared, we don't have x, and the number which is negative 4. So therefore, we can write this one as, let me write it here, 2x minus 3. Okay. 2x minus 3. Then, we have 2x cubed minus 7x squared. Now, since, since we don't have x, a number together with x raised to the power of 1, so we can write this, uh, we can write this one as plus 0x, then minus 4. That's it, plus. If you don't have the value of x squared or x, you can write 0x or 0x squared. Then, we divide plus 2x cubed. Divided by 2x, so 2x cubed divide 2x, 2 divided by 2 is 1, x cubed divided by x is x squared, subtract the exponent plus 3 minus 1 is 2. So this is x squared. Now since this is x squared, you align it with 7, negative 7x seven squared. Their answer class is aligned with x squared. So x squared. Alright, and then we multiply x squared times 2x, that's 2x cubed. So once again, x squared times 2x. So, understood that there's 1, 1 times 2 is 2. x squared times x, copy the variable x, and then you add the exponent. 2 plus 1 is 3. So 2x cubed. 
Alright, and x squared times negative 3, that's negative 3x squared. And then we subtract, we put the parenthesis since this is binomial. Now once we subtract, we need to change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. This becomes plus, this is positive, it becomes negative. This is negative, it becomes positive. So 2x cubed minus 2x squared, you can cancel this out, this is 0. Negative 7x squared plus 3x squared. So if the signs are not the same, subtract. So 7 minus 3 is 4. Then copy the sign of the larger number. So copy negative. So 7x squared minus plus 3x squared. So negative 7, positive 3, not the same. Unlike signs, subtract 7 minus 3 is 4. Copy the sign of 7 because 7 is greater than 3. So we have negative 4. Then for the x squared plus, for the literal coefficient, simply copy x squared. Then bring down positive 0x. And then you divide plus negative 4 x squared divided by 2x. Alright, negative 4 divided by 2. Negative divided by positive is negative. So negative 2. x squared divided by x. Subtract the exponent. 2 minus 1, that would be x. Alright, so negative 2x. Okay, let me just write it here because we have a remainder later on, negative 2x. Alright, and then you multiply. Negative 2x times positive 2x. So negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4. x times x, that would be x squared. Then you multiply. Negative 2x times negative 3, that's positive 6x. Negative 2x times negative 3, negative times negative is positive 6, then copy x, 6x. Alright, and then we subtract, put parenthesis, then minus, and the rules there. When you subtract polynomials, you change the sign of the subtrahend, this one, and then you proceed to addition. So this becomes plus, this is minus, this becomes plus, this is plus, this becomes negative. Alright, and then you can cancel this out because negative 4x squared plus 4x squared, you can cancel that out, that is 0. So 0x minus 6x, copy negative 6x. So once again, plus 6x becomes negative because we changed the sign. Then bring down negative 4. So divide, okay, divide is 1, negative 6x divided by 2x, so negative 6 divided by 2x. So negative 6x divided by 2x. So negative 6 divided by 2, that's negative 3. x divided by x cancel. So this is negative 3. Alright, and negative 3, you multiply. Negative 3 times 2x, that's negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9. Negative times negative is positive, then 3 times 3 is 9. Alright, and then you change the sign. So subtract. And then you change the sign of this one, this operation, this is minus, it becomes positive. This is negative, it becomes positive. This is plus, it becomes negative. Alright, and then this will be, cancel this out. So negative 6x plus 6x, that is 0. Then negative 4, so negative 4, this is positive 9 becomes negative 9, negative 4 minus 9. If the signs are the same, simply copy the sign, then add the number. 4 plus 9 plus 4 is 13. Or 4 plus 9, that would be 13. So negative 13. Once again, if the signs are the same, copy negative sign, then add the number. 4 plus 9, that is 13. Negative 13. So that would be our remainder class. Now to write that one, this will be, once again, your equation, you plus, and then the remainder is negative 13 over... This is the, once again, negative 13 plus will be the numerator. And then 2x minus 3 will be the denominator. 2x minus 3. Alright, so let me just, okay. So, plus negative 13 over 2x minus 3. So, that would be our answer class. Now, check class. You have positive and negative. Okay, you have positive and negative. Check this one class. You have positive and negative 413 because you can put negative class here in the middle part. 
Okay, because you can put the negative here in the middle part. Okay, you can put this here in the middle part. Now, since it will be confusing, we have two signs, positive and negative. You can just simply multiply this one class. Positive times negative is negative. So, you can actually write this one as... Okay, you can write this one as... Minus... Okay, minus 13 over... Copy the divisor 2x minus 3. Okay, minus... 13 over 2x minus 3. Now, you will be asking, sir, why is it minus? And our equation is plus because class, because if we add positive, then our numerator, negative 13, okay, negative 13 over this one, the divisor 2x minus 3, because you can put this minus sign plus in the middle part, okay, you can put it here. We don't have enough space class. Okay, let me just write here. If we put this, okay, plus, then minus 13 over 2x minus 3. So, if you put this negative sign in the middle part, you can actually put that there. Now, if you put this one in the middle part, positive and negative, when you multiply this one, positive times negative, it becomes negative. So, that's why you can just actually write x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus 13 over 2x minus 3. That's the same answer class. Alright, so you can, if you want to, go ahead, you can put plus, then minus, okay, you can, you can put plus, then negative 13 over 2x minus 3. Okay, you can put it this way, or you can have this answer. For me, class, it's better for you to have this answer, because positive times negative is negative. Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends, class, and to your classmates, so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.